Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is an overview of Open Project. Open Project is a web-based uh, open source project management tool, and I thought it was pretty impressive. I'm going to go over a quick demo of some of the stronger features. Okay, so when I load up Open Project, I am looking first at my project overview. And uh, as a project management tool, you can actually track a whole bunch of different projects. In this case, I have the demo project that came with the tool and then one that I created myself uh, called Region 9 Bytoon uh, Cassava Bread Factory. And I populated some of the tasks uh, from this tool from a demo project uh, from a landscape uh, that one of our colleagues supports. Okay, so as I click into Region 9 Bytoon, I uh, see the overview. Uh, the overview is a board with a bunch of widgets. So uh, I have here a project description, a project status, a uh, status of different tasks and phases, team members that are on the team, a calendar phase, and I can customize uh, how these things look. I can make things larger. I could, let's see, by Clicking here, I can add another feature, so uh, time spent, etc. cetera. Um, so it's kind of a customizable front view to the project that you're conducting. The meat and potatoes, or the, the thing that we really care about, however, is uh, the work packages. So a work package uh, consists of components, in this case, uh, phases and tasks. So phases are collections of tasks, uh, and tasks are individual activities that can be done within a phase. So uh, in this case, I have two phases, factory building construction and machine installation. I can um, make them smaller or larger as is necessary. And um, as I'm creating a different a task, here, I'm just gonna click into a task and, and show what it looks like. Click the information screen, I could say that this task belongs to, sorry, um, that this task belongs to a given phase. Oh, I see. I see what I just did here. So if I click on something, I can assign it to a parent. So in this case, I want it to be one factory. Huh. Oh, it's already been selected. Okay, uh, I could describe what this is. Dig a hole. I could define who is assigned to this task. So in this case, the task is assigned to me, uh, but the person accountable, or the person making sure that the task is done, is my colleague Marcel. Um, I can estimate how many times it would take, or how much time it would take, and you can even track how much time has been spent. You can decide when uh, the project will, uh, the task will start and end. You can define how much progress has been accomplished so far. Uh, you can even say whether this is a high priority or low priority, or immediate even. And you can assign it to a budget. So I have already created a budget. Um, now the funding that'll come from, or for this project will come from that budget that I created. And any relevant uh, files I can attach. And one of the nice things is that you can do an activity tracker. So it'll track um, things that happen related to this task. In this case, I created the task, uh, set a start date and an end date, assigned it to myself, and created a description, uh, updated the progress. All that stuff that you just saw me see. And I can, um, even if, uh, aside from the person who has assigned and the person who is accountable, you can also create watchers. So people who might be on our team who uh, don't necessarily uh, have anything to do for the task, but find information coming out of it to be relevant. All of this seems pretty flexible. Um, once you've created your tasks and assigned them to individual phases, you can show them in a bunch of different ways. So here's a card-based view in case you lean in that direction, or, uh, you know, sort of traditional uh, project management, you can have a Gantt chart, where the Gantt chart shows the different tasks, and then the phase is shown to encapsulate all the, the tasks that show up. Um, there's a calendar view, 
So it takes that information about your tasks and phases and shows um, what is happening when, on what days. There's a time and costs view. So if you're just interested in looking at the uh, cash that has been spent, you can do so. I have spent uh, 20 Ghanaian, uh, Guyanese rather, uh, dollars on the procurement of raw materials and assigned it to this individual project. <laughs> I, I have spent one miscellaneous unit purchase. Um, I can create a budget. So uh, as expenses roll in, I can see my overall amount that has been assigned for uh, a individual project and how much has been spent so far. Looks like 2% total progress has been finished. So things need to step up. And there are some other potentially useful uh, modules, including forums, where people can talk about things that are happening, documents, where people can upload relevant documents like, hey, here's this proposal describing the project that we are doing. Meetings, so you can create meetings between team members uh, so that you have, uh, you know, you can discuss projects that are moving forward. Team members, so you can invite individuals to be responsible for different components, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you can also, as you might be able to tell, customize the look and feel of the tool. So there are a number of themes, but you can also uh, apply your own um, logo and uh, favicon, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And the whole thing is fairly workable in a mobile fo format. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. It's not the greatest mobile format, but it's not that bad either. Um, it's certainly workable. So here I can go from this menu to select my various projects. Uh, I can look at my work packages and see the tasks listed out in such a way. And if I want to, I can uh, filter by just the things that are assigned to me. <laughs> I can basically do everything that I wanted to do um, in desktop format, but in a slightly smaller and more, more cramped experience, uh, which, you know, is standard fare for uh, many websites that are mobile responsive. Um, totally functional, maybe not necessarily the prettiest thing. One... A uh, feature that it would be nice to add to this open source tool is expense tracking. There's some of that going on, which you saw, uh, and here I'll go back to uh, the time and costs view. And you can see that on uh, today, I submitted a cost related to the procurement of raw materials. Um, but there's no option to upload a receipt or um, to track an individual expense saying, I bought such and such a thing, it cost this much, and um, here's a picture proving that I had done so. But that's conceivably a, a relatively um, uh, feasible feature that could be added on. Um, there are a number of other uh, integrations that are possible. If we go to the uh, administration page and look at... Uh, well, there's, so there are webhooks, so different tools can tie into this. I believe there's an API. Um, where are the integrations? Ah, there's GDP, GDPR settings. That's very good. Let's check out plugins. Yeah, so you can also uh, integrate with some other tools like... Uh, you can uh, apply a reCAPTCHA, or you can integrate a tool with Slack, or apply two-factor authentication, or use um, OmniAuth, or other forms of single sign-on. So it's a fairly well-developed tool, and certainly one that I think is worth uh, exploring a little bit further. Okay, thanks for watching.